one of my most memorable moments that I've had with Chris was here recently. He was standing in line and we were preparing to go home. And he had a book in his hand, standing in line reading. And I said, Christopher, he said, Miss House. And I said, are you that kid that when your grandmother tells you to go to bed, that you go in the room with the book and turn on the light and she thinks that you're asleep and you have books in your bed? And he said, yes, ma'am. But please don't tell my grandma. I said, I won't. I promise you, I won't. And so he asked me, he said, why do you say that, Miss House? I said, because you remind me so much of my oldest son. When I tell him to go to bed, he's so involved in whatever it is that he's reading and he wants to finish that he takes it to bed. And not being disobedient, but just wanting to get that knowledge that they're seeking from that book. The thing that makes me proud about Chris is that he has learned how to persevere through some tough times. And... Um, I believe that reading has become one of his things that he has had to do in order to take him to a place where he needed to be and in order to get through some of the uh, tough things that he's had to deal with. I really just like to read. I read, I read whenever I can. I read pretty much two hours every Saturday, whenever I can on Sunday. Um, whenever I am in class, I read. Just read. It's pretty much what everybody knows me by. It's like, I just picked up this book today. I've read a few pages and I'm like, oh, I wanna see what happens next. Um, with the Artemis Fowl series, I picked up the second book. I haven't, I read the first book already, but first book was okay. The second book, I'm like, wow. How's that all go just gonna happen to him? The third book, I just kept on had to read. I've got the fourth book and the sixth book. Um, my friend has the fifth book, and I'm gonna ask him for it later. Chris is a model student. He is always doing the right thing, and most of all, Chris is a learner. Chris has read all of the Missouri Reader's Choice books, which include the uh, Mark Twain books, and he makes Duchesne very proud. He has the highest score in our school of AR because he is reading all the time. So he makes reading look like fun and is a great example for all the students here at Duchesne. It has been a joy working with Christopher. He's a different kind of student. Um, you don't find many students that just have that love for reading. And reading is the basis of everything, because if you can't read, if you don't have that fluency in reading, you're gonna struggle in other areas, whether it's math, science, social studies, or whatever. Um, at this present age, students are not learning to read, they're reading to learn. So if you have that solid foundation, then it's easy for you to accomplish other things, not only academically, but socially. Christopher is phenomenal. I, I don't know any other words to, do, to use to describe him. He's a different kind of student. He's a diamond in a rough. It's nothing that you can ask him that he can't do. And if he can't do it, he knows how to go get those resources to get it done. Just read. You'll find different things you might like of nonfiction. So you can find out things, how to's about animals. Could be an army person, do whatever. Or you could just like the novels like realistic fiction, science fiction, fantasy, comedy. You could just like anything. But do what you want to do. Because I'm not you, I'm me. I think it's important for Chris and his siblings to read because in order to, uh, to get to the next level of success, you have to be able to come to an understanding of what the books can bring to you. I believe Chris has the ability to lead and to tell other students that 
there can be a time when you don't believe things are going to go well for you and I believe he's going to uh, he's going to be able to to give hope um, to kids that might feel like you know they they've had a bad situation and uh, I think he's going to be able to say you know life gets better and if you read and if you go to school and if you do everything that you're asked to do then you know you can be successful and I think he's going to be able to convey that to other students.